So the wait for domestic football over in Germany is just about done and the return of the Bundesliga is just around the corner. And so are my predictions. Right, folks, back once again with another prediction video. This time we're taking a look at match day number one in the 2019-2020 Bundesliga season. And we'll get to that in just one second, folks, if you're new to the channel. Smash your subscribe button, keep your bang up to date. With all things Bundesliga related, Lapin Rose related, whoa, football related, we're going to all hear. That's right, match day one is here, folks. So, yeah, obviously last season we predicted the Bundesliga from day one all the way through to the end. I had an okay success rate, you know, it wasn't brilliant, it wasn't brilliant, I, I know that, but uh, it was fun, I enjoyed it, and, 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 and doing it, I start to learn more about Bundesliga, keep an eye on the scores, I have got a team, Mönchengladbach, I was actually born in Germany, believe it or not, yep, it's my, uh, it's my German looks. Um, if that's a thing, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, enough jibber jabber, let's jump into the thick of things, and take a look at match day one in the Bundesliga, so, here we go. Now, this is the state of flux right here, right now, with a brand new squeaky clean table, everybody unbeaten, 100% record. But if, according to my graphic, if the season were to end today, Bayern would be champions. Surprise, surprise. Hertha Berlin would be second, Dortmund third, Augsburg fourth, Leverkusen and Paderborn, new boys uh, in the old Europa League spots. Down the bottom there, Hoffenheim, uh, Union Berlin and RB Leipzig going down. But that's just... That's just nothing. That's nothing. Uh, let's take a look at the opening day fixture Roonies. Here we go. The champions. Uh, much to my, um, you know, despise. Uh, I actually tipped Dortmund last season to win it. I've also tipped Dortmund this season to win it. So that means Bayern will win it once again. Um, I expect it to be a two-horse race, but there are some other teams that could um, cause some problems along the way. So let's get cracking and take a look at the champions. Open up their campaign up against Hertha Berlin. Now Bayern come into this with pretty ridiculous form. Second, second in the form table uh, with the teams from last season. Um, and they actually picked up 14 points out of a possible 18 at the last six games. Winning four, drawing two along the way. Up against the Hertha Berlin side, not bad form. Around about eighth in the table, winning two of the last four games, but drawing two along the way. So, okay form, but realistically, you're up against a real big struggle here. Bayern, 11 or 2 uh, on uh, favourites to take this one. 12 to 1, uh, Berlin, the upset. 6 to 1, the draw. So, even the draw is a long shot. And that's plain and plain Jane here, home victory here. 3 0 win for Bayern. Um, uh, with, uh, under the second campaign under the manager, um, who arrived from Frankfurt a couple of years back. Uh, Dortmund, though, they kick it, and that game takes place on the 16th of August. Meanwhile, on the 17th of August, we have a whole host of fixtures. Two, four, six games in total on Saturday. Um, I'm actually recording this a little bit ahead of time, obviously going away for a few days, quite a few days, um, in, the next, in, in a while, like two days from now. Um, so I'm getting this nice and early. I'm recording this on the 7th of August, so a good 10 days before this game takes place. Um, but it will be posted. I don't know. It'll be posted five days or so before kickoff or something like that. Anyway, boring, boring, not relevant stuff. Uh, Dortmund take on Augsburg. Um, Dortmund coming to this third in the form table with one defeat out of the past six. They also drew one in that cluster as well. Four wins along the way. Up against the Augsburg side, who are uh, not great form. Uh, not won a game in four, but they did pick up two victories prior to that back-to-back. -back. Up against, so uh, the bookmakers have Dortmund 7-2 on uh, to win this one. 9-1 to one long shots for Augsburg, 17-4. to four. The draw, obviously Dortmund... Trying to improve their squad as well with creative young players. Uh, realistically, it's going to be another home win on this one. I don't see any upsets in day one. Um, I think they're good oppositions for both Bayern and Dortmund just to get themselves moving, uh, especially home as well. Uh, Leverkusen will be taking on Paderborn. Uh, Leverkusen come into this top of the form table. 16 out of a possible 18 points in the last, 60, uh, last six games in the Bundesliga. Up against new boys, Paderborn. Um, so another another struggle for the away team to uh, the, an, an opening day. Um, the Bookmakers have it 5-2 to two on for Leverkusen, 7-1 to long shots for Paderborn, 7-2 to two to draw. You can't see anything but a home win, but I've given Paderborn a be the benefit of the doubt and get them a goal as well along the way. Wolfsburg will be taking on uh, FC Köln and they're back once again in the Bundesliga, a, a team that I think should be in there. I consider them the, the Blackburn Rovers of the, the Bundesliga, a team that should be in there, used to compete, used to be in the mix of things, but now kind of fluttering around the bottoms. But they're back in the Bundesliga, Rovers still stuck. Um, in league, uh, the championship. Uh, anyway, uh, Wolfsburg coming to this fifth in the form table. Uh, Ten points at the last 18. They've picked up. Um, they've 
We've actually won three of the past four games, though, uh, up against Colton Sai, like I said, returning from the Schweiter Bundesliga. Now, the, the, the bookmakers have this going in favour of Wolfsburg, 11-10. Uh, on 5-2 to two the draw, 3-1 to one Köln uh, victory away from home. I'm actually going with a 2-1 win as well for Wolfsburg. If it was the other way around, uh, over at uh, Köln's place, I would have gone maybe a draw or maybe even edged it to go. So I don't, I don't think Köln should realistically, they should be uh, safe this season long term. I did make my predictions. Check check out the video for their ultimate destiny. Meanwhile, Werder Bremen will take on Fortuna Düsseldorf. Uh, Bremen, their form is okay. Seventh in the table, winning three of the past six games. Back-to-back uh, -back wins as well coming into this. Uh, up against the Fortuna Düsseldorf side, whose form is a bit ropey. Uh, just two wins at the past six as well. Uh, so, yeah, me, me, two media-ish, ochre-ish kind of, kind of teams. Duke, I'm, I'm not about form. I'm not about stature or anything like that. Werder Bremen does have a, seems to have a, a grandeur stature than Dusseldorf. But two teams with real similar forms. The bookmakers go with Werder Bremen on this one. 5-4 to four on. 3-1 to one, the long shot for Dusseldorf away from home. And also 3-1 to one, the draw. I'm actually going with the, the book, bookmakers here on this one. 2-0 no win. And that will give themselves a winning start to the new Bundesliga campaign. Freiburg will take on FS Foul Mainz, uh, who come into the six in the table form-wise, uh, winning, uh, well, only losing one at the past five games, three wins in that cluster as well. Up against the Freiburg side, whose form is absolutely shocking, uh, but they did end the season with a win, um, but before that, it was four defeats out of five, so not not great form. Um, the bookmakers have this going in favour of Freiburg, though, 11-10, to 10, uh, the victory, 23-10, to 10, the draw, 5-2, to two, Mainz will upset the apple cart. Uh, so I'm actually going with Freiburg as well, I'm going with the bookmakers, siding with this one. Um, for opening day. Uh, here are my boys <laughs> who opened up their season with a bit of a stonking, not a difficult game up against Wagner's Schalke. Uh, Schalke absolutely shit show last season. Uh, obviously, manager lost his job, I'm sure of it. Uh, and Wagner came in, kind of steady the shit towards the end of it. I think it'll be a, a different, different sort of season for Schalke. I expected anyway. Um, but uh, what have I gone? I've gone with the two-two draw. Um, I'll tell you the forms here. Uh, Gladbach right smack dab in the middle here with seven points picked up from a possible eighteen, and in that cluster one win and a five so not great Schalke on the flip side same sort of stuff one win out of six games uh, for them but uh, they did end the season uh, four games unbeaten so not great not not, not too shabby um, so 2-2 two, two draw uh, just just because I don't know the bookmakers 21 to 20 for Munchagladbach victory 13 to 5 Schalke long shots 23 to 10 the draw 2-2 two, two for me just I just don't know because um, Schalke have the capabilities of, of being top four top five sort of team but will they be that this season? Moving on to Sunday's game. On these games taking place on the 18th of August. Frankfurt taking on Hoffenheim. Another, another crunch clash this one. Frankfurt's form, though, is absolutely woeful. Uh, they're also in Europa League action as it stands. But winning games as well. They've also lost their key striker. Uh, they went to Madrid um, as well. Yeah, that was a... I think they signed him and then they sold him. Made big, big bucks on him. Or reasonably big bucks on him. Um, but yeah, they've been, they've, been, they've been playing competitive football. But their form book in the Bundesliga is woeful. Two, two points out of a possible 18 in the last six. An absolute collapse for Frankfurt. Up against Hoffenheim, whose form is uh, mediocre uh, as well. Uh, haven't won a game in four, but they did uh, earlier. The, prior to those four games, they, they won back-to-back -back games. So Hoffenheim, not great form, um, but the bookmakers go... Slightly in favour of Eintracht Frankfurt, six to four for them, eight to five for Hoffenheim. The draw is thirteen to five. I've just given it Frankfurt three to two. Goals galore in this one. Five goals all in all to uh, to start the season. And new boys, uh, Union Berlin have a difficult task against RB Leipzig. Uh, Leipzig uh, ending the season with uh, one defeat at the past six. Um, three wins, two draws in that cluster as well. Leipzig favourites, uh, eleven to eight on uh, seventy-two. Union Berlin, fourteen to five. The draw. Realistically, you can't go with 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 Union Berlin. It'll be a very big upset on day one. Again, this this game takes place on Sunday. Uh, I am actually going heavy victory for uh, for Leipzig. Five goals in it, four-one victory for uh, Leipzig, and that will be a great start for them to kick off the campaign. So if these results, again, while I have you, make sure you stick your own predictions in the comment section down below what you expect match day one. I'll put I'll put the fixtures in the, the, the description, maybe in, even in the comments as a pinned comment so you can, so you can uh, make it easy, copy-paste and put your own score lines in there. And then I'll review them next time out in match day two. Uh, but if these results were to pan out, then the table will look 
like Aziz. Yes, Leipzig will be top of the pops. Bayern second, Leverkusen third, and Dortmund fourth. Uh, Werder Bremen and Frankfurt will occupy those other two Europa League spots. Uh, towards the bottom would be uh, Berlin going down. Uh, both Berlins going down. Fortuna Dusseldorf joining them as well. But obviously, this is match day one. It ain't going to end like this. It might end like this, but it probably won't end like this. Um, so, yeah, folks, that is uh, match day one in the Bundesliga. Uh, before I go, a bit of admin for you folks. Now, but when this goes live... The uh, I'm just letting you know that, that I've got currently I've got a, bun uh, a Premier League Fantasy League live, which has got the possibility of getting cash prizes, monthly prizes, as well as a grand prize for the victor. But I don't know if um, when this video goes live, if applicants will still be accepted or not. But I'm going to put it up there anyway, just in case. You'll let me know. Let me know in the comment section if you could still if you could still participate in it. Um, also, let you know that I'll be doing live predictions just like this, but live. Uh, for the Champions League, Premier League and the Championship uh, starting in September. Uh, the days for these, not 100% in concrete, but I'm looking at Mondays for the Championship, Tuesdays for the Premier League. Champions League, I'm looking at a Friday probably, you know, once the... Um, the, the Friday before the games, I, I'm, I'm imagining. Um, so, yeah. I uh, haven't confirmed them, but that's the outlook. And also, if you're bored on a Saturday, I'm also going to be live over on Twitchosphere watching my beloved Blackburn Rovers lose every single game of the season and finish bottom of the pops. Uh, if you're bored on a Saturday, if you are in Germany and watching this, four o'clock wise, uh, German time, head over to Twitchosphere. You can join me. We can talk about uh, Bundesliga. We can talk about international football. We can even talk about cooking. You got any good recipes for me? I, like a, I love a good schnitzel, me, every now and then. Or a bit of uh, uh, sauerkraut or something like that. Whatever. That's it. A bratwurst, currywurst. I love all. The, I love all the German food. Ask my mother. She she's a German uh, extraordinaire cuisine maker. Uh, but yeah, that's that, my friends. Is all I have for you. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the thumbs up. If you're new, smash the subscribe. New videos pretty much every single day here, folks. It's going to get ropey over the next couple of days because I'm actually on the road. Yeah, I'm leaving right because obviously right here I'm in Pennsylvania, but we're heading on the road, driving. Flipping, I think in total for the next two weeks, the big weeks, over 6,000 miles. 6,000 miles, folks. We are covering all over the US of A. We're driving Rushmore, blah, 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 up into Canada, down in through Yellowstone, through Utah, Vegas, Grand Canyon, blah, 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 blah all the way back around. But it's going to be crazy trying to keep up with the videos as well. So is it a holiday? Probably not. Uh, but anyway, give me your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I'll be back very soon. Should I vlog the videos? Maybe I might do. Well, no, no, I'm not going to vlog it. I'll just, I'll just record, I'll record with the stuff in the background. How about that? Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Till I see you all again, which will be very, very soon, I'm sure. Thumbs up, subscribe. I'll chat for now. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and most importantly, hit the subscribe button to keep you bang up to date with all things Blackburn Rovers related, Championship related. Football related. We've got it all covered right under one roof. And while I still have you, please be sure to check out some of the old videos scattered along here. I hope. <laughs>